to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Danny, and this is Coffee Break with Danny. Today we're gonna talk crap about some products. Uh, okay, maybe not crap. You guys know I'm a big old chicken, and I'm always gonna point out the positives and the areas of improvements for certain products. So they may have not worked for me, but they might work for you. It's just my style. Uh, I asked you guys in a vlog if you were interested in seeing me talk about my product misses, and everyone said yes. So that's what we're doing today. And surprisingly, with me, it's not a makeup misses as often as it is hair and skincare or body. So for makeup, I'm always like, well, you know, it's not so bad. It's not like, oh my God, I'm gonna throw it away and get rid of it. No, for makeup, I can usually find a purpose for it. When it comes down to like skincare, body care, or hair care, I want to burn it. <laughs> okay, I'm being very, very hyperbolic right now. Maybe not so much burn it, but just throw it away and never see it again. And I don't have that many makeup products, so I'll talk about those first because after all, that's why most of you guys found me or found Coffee Break with Danny. So, see, the, the misses don't even want to sit still. I'm trying to live their best life. All right, let's get into makeup first. The Lancome uh, Spring Collection, it was like this macaron, macaron, mac macaron, macaroon, whatever. Those cookies that are really cute and pastel looking, uh, they came out with like that type of collection. And part of the collection were these uh, chubby sticks. They're called Ombre Hypnos Mini Chubbies. They came in a variety of pastel shades. These don't even set. I was about to drop a really bad word. I was like, <laughs> catch myself. They don't set. They just are like uh, a lipstick, kind of. What if they are lipsticks and I don't know this? Why would it be like a lavender lipstick though? Anyway, they're just, they don't set. I, I don't know what to do with it. It's a cool base, but it just creases and it's, it's, it's creamy and, and, and delicious, but it doesn't set. If it's gonna go in my eyes, Kind of need it to set. Anyway, moving on. Um, we also have the YSL Touche Clut All-in-One Glow. Everyone is raving about this thing. And I've seen so many Instagram posts where I'm like, dang, look at their skin. It's looking fresh. They're wearing this. You know who wears this? And every time I see it, I, I like look to see what is on her skin. Mallory, 1712. She's also a YouTuber. Um, whenever she wears this, I'm like, I want your skin in a creepy way of course <laughs> um holy moly this looks like I just ran 32 marathons through a desert in a thong getting chased by like rabid coyotes okay my skin just looks sweaty and oily and greasy like I might as well just jump in like a Crisco tub that's what it made my skin look like. It was so bizarre. You put it on at first and it looks great. Like 30 minutes later, I'm like, what happened to my skin? I would even do the whole like, like I would walk by and see my reflection and almost not believe it. So I don't know. I don't have oily skin. It was very bizarre to me because I've never experienced anything like that. So I'm gonna give it several other tries with different types of combos of primers and moisturizers, right? Because with products like these, like bases, foundations, BB creams, whatever, um, sometimes they don't play well with others. So sometimes they don't like the primer or they don't like the moisturizer and on your, f sometimes they don't like the user. <laughs> then on your face, it turns into like a deadly melted combination. Why did it take me a while to, whatever. Anyway, moving on. Another makeup product, the um, Arch Brow Sh Shaping Gel from Hourglass. The Arch Brow Brow Pencil? Holy moly. If you're a kajillionaire and you can afford that to be your brow pencil like your everyday, because I love it and I use it, but only on special occasions. <laughs> I like to save it. So the Hourglass Brow Shaping Gel. It has a really crazy looking brush. Do you guys see that? It has like a short bristle side and then a long bristle side. So the learning curve for the brush is there. There's a learning curve. No big deal. I love to learn. I'm a lifelong student. Give me something new to learn and I will do it. However, if you're going to have a funky funk brush, the formula itself better be like top notch on point. 
This doesn't do anything for my brows. I might as well just pick up a puppy and have it lick my eyebrows, okay? Because the, the gel doesn't do anything. It doesn't hold it in place. It doesn't set them. It doesn't, it doesn't do anything. It's not a gel formula that does anything to set my brows. Do I have many brows to set? No. So it's really hard for me to find a brow gel that doesn't work for me. This one did it, surprisingly. This also comes in shades, so different color shades. I had the clear, they also have it in like bronze, br brunette, warm brunette, cool blonde, whatever, like all sorts of, of different colors. A mascara that made me want to jump out of a window um, is the Kush Mascara, Kush, Kush Mascara by Milk Makeup. This is a new mascara that is made with cannabis oil to nourish your lashes and be super awesome and make them fabulous and be all sorts of fabulosity with its cannabis oil. It is a fiber mascara. I don't know if you guys could see that crazy fiber situation that it has there. For me, I'm very accepting of mascaras. I never use the word tolerate, by the way especially in relationships. If you're all in a relationship, don't tolerate anything. Either accept it or don't. Tolerating is not good. Side note. For mascaras, I, I let a lot of things pass, you know, because I'm like, well, you have one job. Separate my lashes and make them look fly, right? This mascara, not only is the packaging very heavy, which I never thought would be a complaint, but it's heavy. The wand holds on to so much product. Can you guys see all of that product that's on there? If it wasn't a fiber mascara, it wouldn't matter because it's just mascara and you can just brush it out yourselves, but it's fibers. So it gets clumpy and it pokes your eye and it doesn't, like you put, put one coat of, of mascara and then you have fibers sticking out so you go in and then you get other fibers because there's just way too much product on here and it turns into this gunky, chunky, thick mess of mascara all over the um, packaging. A lot of product comes out. This dries out so fast. I use this mascara three times and it's already drying out. Can you guys see all the little fibers hanging off of the uh, neck, entrance, collar, uh, mouth of the applicator? Like, it's crazy. This mascara is not worth the, the struggle. It is not. I get it. Like they're trying to be super innovative and they have like, um, like serial numbers on them and it's a luxe product. And I think it's like made in Europe somewhere. It probably says on here. Yeah. Made in Italy. So it's like a great product and it's the formula is amazing or whatever. I just, it's not worth the struggle. Like it's not, it dries fast. It's heavy. The fibers get everywhere. It's just, it's messy. The wand is so you guys the mascara is um intelligent because it heard all the crap i was talking and it smeared all over my brow just saying um i'm a little freaked out right now <laughs> anyway for me it's not worth the struggle it's messy the brush like the wand is way too big and y'all know the type of eye situation i'm dealing with here i could have like a tonka wand and be all okay with it but if you guys have like normal size eyes look at this wand that's enormous and to have all that product falling off of it every single time you go in and out that's just that's just too messy. The final beauty product is a product from Mally. The Mallywood collection was her spring limited edition collection. She has a highlighting blush in the collection. The packaging is divine. It's like super ultra fabulous extra Barbie, right? The packaging is great. The product inside is not a miss because this is an ideal product for people with cool undertones that are fair to light complected. It would be the perfect blush for you guys. If you are like medium complexion uh, or deeper and you have warm to neutral undertones, it's going to look like this. So it does nothing for us. It does nothing for def definition. It does nothing for warming up the skin. It does nothing for giving you that rosy glow. Um, it just looks like we picked the wrong shade of blush. So the concept of this product is four blush shades, two highlighter shades in a pinwheel format. So you swirl your brush in it and you swirl it upwards on your cheekbones 
and it's a highlighting blush. So it's going to give you a highlighted cheekbone look. Um, I love it. If Mally were to do this again with like a deep coral, a peach, maybe like a nudie bronzy shade in here, and then I would put that all over my face. It would be perfect. But this color combination did nothing for me. So again, if you guys are um, fair to light, cool undertone complected, you would love this product. Moving on to, I don't know if this would be considered a makeup product. I don't think so. Um, this is the Fix Plus from MAC in Gold Light. These are the limited edition uh, Fix Plus sprays that came out. There is a like a rose gold looking one and then a gold one. I bought this with Sam when she was visiting and we thought we would use it to spray all over our body when we're like by the pool or outside or if we're gonna be sitting on a patio, it would just be such a cute like glowy look, right? Now you put this on and it sprays on like a speckle. Yeah, like a speckle, you look like a speckle speckled golden egg. It doesn't spray like a wash of shimmer or glimmer or glow. It speckles on. So just how it comes out of here, like a splash of water, the gold fleck lands in that same shape and so you just look speckly. So I was like, oh, that's no problem. It's no big deal. All I'm going to do is just kind of do this and just kind of rub it out a little, blend it out a little bit. Um, and it'll be fine, but when I do that, it all comes off. So I'm stuck with this for no reason. It doesn't do anything. It's not, it's, it's not, it's not conducive to be able to even be repaired. Does that make sense? So like you could put it on if you want to look speckly, but if you want that even, it's just, it doesn't even it doesn't even lend itself to be repaired once once applied maybe if i spray it like on a sponge and then put it on but that's way too much work why the heck are you a spray bottle you know okay moving on to two deodorants i'm so disappointed you guys the two deodorants that i got at um credo beauty with Veto, you guys remember I was like, oh yeah, I'm on this like aluminum free, uh, clean deodorant um, mission and I want to find healthier deodorant options and I just keep going back to Schmidt's. I keep going back to Schmidt's deodorant even though it stains all my white shirts yellow. I soak them in OxyClean and it comes off but it's such a chore to do because I love white shirts, you guys. Anyway, so I got the... Um, Vapor Beauty um, Next Level Deodorant, and I got the Love Fresh Grapefruit Deodorant. I'm kind of glad I got the little trial size of these. They smell amazing, but I mean like an hour later, I already smell like armpit, so they do nothing for me. Now, I don't have an issue with sweat. I don't get sweaty. I don't get wet pits. I just smell. So I'm wondering if I do like this hardcore heavy like detox, I don't know, like diet detox, pit detox, and like all that. It's like this whole system, step-by-step uh, -step thing that you have to do to just detox your entire body um, if I will still stink, and then I won't even need deodorant, right? Because I don't sweat, like I don't get wet. Even if I go to the gym and I'll run like, I don't know, five miles or whatever, I don't sweat. I'm not a big sweater. Is that a, is that a good thing? My ex used to tease me. He's like, you never sweat. You know that's not good, right? It means it means something bad. <laughs> anyway, uh, they don't. They don't do anything for me at all, like whatsoever. So I don't know. Anyway, a cleanser. Um, Drops of Youth, Body Shop's Youth Gentle Foaming Wash. It's a foaming cleanser. I put this in the shower to try it out. I gave it a really fair shot. Uh, it smells like Windex, I'm sorry. It just, it smells like Windex. I don't know if it actually cleansed my face. I don't know if it did anything for my face. I don't know if it gave me the uh, plant stem cell treatment where it kept me young and radiant. Uh, it smells like Windex and I don't want any of that business near my face. That's like putting 409 on my face. You know what I mean? Like. Y'all need to make it smell different, especially coming from a brand that is such a good brand, you know? Like, it's a healthier brand. It's one of those greener brands. It's all, like, super friendly and eco-conscious and stuff. And, 
Man, it smells like Windex. Just the smell alone made me stop using it. That's it. I'm gonna be fair. So if y'all are into that smell and you like it, then that might be something you like. This line, um, the Drops of Youth line, has really great reviews. So there's that. Um, then uh, the Vasanti Brighten Up Enzymatic Face Rejuvenator with Microderm Crystals. This was actually my favorites, right? For a month or two and it left my face looking fly as heck you guys it's an exfoliator that has papaya um, and aloe and so it's gentle but aggressive at the same time right it would leave my face looking radiant and delicious I stopped using it for a few months and I went back to it and it was mortifying like it just ripped off my face it was awful I don't think it's expired I just think that maybe my face is going through a change right now like my my skin type is changing and it might just be too aggressive or I may have already been over exfoliated and I just went in too much with this but if you guys like an exfoliator that actually exfoliates this is a really good one. I mean, it was in my favorites for a reason. It's a fantastic product. I just can't use it anymore for some reason. I don't know if it's the weather, if it's the central air. You know, there's so many factors involved. Um, I've also been using the um, Dermalogica anti-aging something. It's like a, an exfoliator that warms up to the touch. Oh my God. Let me tell you, it's so good. Um, so maybe this and that don't mix. It was too much too soon. Who knows? Story of my life. <laughs> Three hair products. Back to scent. Back to scent. This was just scent related. This is just scent related. This is like the number one um, hairspray of the universe, of the world that everyone loves and it's amazing. It smells awful. Oh my God. The L'Oreal Elnit Satin Hairspray is the worst! <laughs> the perfume in this hairspray is horrendous. It smells very mature. Kind of like the model on here. That's kind of what it smells like. It's nice. I mean, the spray comes out amazing it's like a mist right so you put it on and it just it does a great mm, <laughs> it does a great job at what it needs to do like I kind of need some right now with these little wispies but um it's super strong hold but you brush it through and it's like boom there was no hairspray there you know it's magical hairspray the mist the nozzle the way it comes out the flow it's just magic the shape of the bottle is so attractive isn't it like it's just the perfect shape 11 ounces of product this is a pretty big bottle of hairspray why does it got to smell like that yo then all in the name of research olaplex is available to all consumers now through sephora um and olaplex is a chemical bonding agent that actually bonds your hair follicles so it actually fills in gaps in your hair strand right so if your hair has holes in it and it's starting to break it's starting to release color a lot faster you're starting to notice some issues with your hair it's an actual chemical bonding agent that will repair the strands of hair does it work absolutely it is magic however olaplex has a um what is it a patent or a copyright or a whatever it is on their formula so no one else can duplicate the formula of olaplex at all now i was told that the um Absolute Perfection Color Sealer Step 3 by Ion, which is Sally Beauty's brand, was a dupe for it. It's not. <laughs> the end. <laughs> then, Credo Beauty. Um, when I went and I did my Green Beauty haul, I got the Inner Sense Eye Create Lift Volumizing Foam. This is a foam that you apply to the roots of your hair and then you blow it out or you style it or whatever and it's going to give you roots. Uh, it's going to give you volume at the roots. If by volume it means like a waxy film that clumps it together and weighs it down, 
absolutely tons of volume. <laughs> oh my gosh, this product is horrendous. This, I don't know who it would work for. Maybe if you have um, coarse hair or like really thick hair, um, but if you have three hairs like me, this is like taking melted wax and applying it to your roots. It is awful. It did nothing for my hair. It felt dirty. It clumped it together. It was, it was, it was gnarly. If I didn't have somewhere to go, I would have gone back in the shower and rinsed my hair again. Um, it was, it wasn't nice. <laughs> and the last one is actually a tool that I got on Amazon. These are the Noxzema About Face Eyebrow Shapers. Um, I threw the other one away, the one that I used. So I was just, I wanted an eyebrow razor. I usually use them for my mustache right here because I look like uh, Pancho Villa or Frida Kahlo, but I like to say Pancho Villa because it just sounds more funny. <laughs> funnier. It sounds funnier. Um, but I saw these and it was like, oh, Amazon Prime and whatever and free one day shipping if you order $35 and I was already getting something else and you know how Amazon sucks you in. So I got these. I thought they were just going to be brow razors just like they normally are. First of all, why is it so little? Like, is this a razor for my chihuahua? Like for his mustache or what, what's happening? Is this uh, what is, is this like a joke? What, what's the deal? Uh, it's kind of miniature. But aside from that, you're like, well, think about the practicality, Danny. You could like get in your nostril if you needed to because it's that little. You could shave your earlobes if you have hairy earlobes or get into the nooks and crannies if you needed to. <sighs> this is one of those things that is like dangerously sharp in the wrong way. So obviously if you want something that is supposed to be sharp, you need it to be as sharp as possible to do the most effective job, right? But this one, it's like a stubbly blade that's really sharp. So it actually cut my face. If you don't use this very carefully, it's not gonna take the hair off, it's just gonna cut you. And it cuts you in like paper cut way. So obviously I displayed user error on my behalf, but regardless, it's not very user friendly. I would not recommend these to my worst enemy. I would not recommend these as a torture device either. They're just, they're awful. <laughs> and it's a three pack. I swear, I haven't been so scared in my life as to when I saw my six year old say, mommy, what is this? And I was like, <laughs> Smack! <laughs> He's like, whoa, whoa, okay, drama, you know? And I was like, dude, no, back away from the torture razor. That thing might look little and cute, but it is insanely sharp in a horrible way. They're awful, you guys, absolutely awful. If you want something for like, um, uh, dermaplaning your face or like if you have a bunch of EM mustache like I do get an actual eyebrow shaper like the ones that aren't this little the ones you know which ones I'm talking about I'll actually link an alternative or rather what I should have purchased instead of these because these are horrendous anyway that is it for this Mrs. video I really hope you guys enjoyed it um, I don't know if I need to list or link any of these products considering they're not my friends. Um, but I mean, if you want me to, I, I guess I could. Uh, don't make me, please, just, no. Anyway, let me know if you enjoyed uh, the Mrs. video. We could do this about every two or three months. Um, I tend to just pass on my Mrs. to my friends and family because I'm sure there's people that'll find them useful, right? Anyway, but if you would like to see these, then I will be cognizant and keep those products for you guys and then share my thoughts an opinion on them. Anyway, that's it. I love you guys so much and you know what to do. If you found this video useful, entertaining, and learned something, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, this coffee break is over. Bye guys!